All right, I'm out here to uh, show what I've been up to. Slight change of plans as the peas, which are just on the other side of this bean field, are ready to go. And uh, so I kind of jumped on it today. I got the combine out of this, uh, the new shed here. It had the corn head on it. So I dropped that, I don't know if it'll show up, just on the other side of the grain bin on the pad. Um, Dad pulled the bean head out, which is over there. <coughs> and he started to um, hook up to this field cultivator because I need to take that out so I can get to the pickup head, which we'll use to swath the beans, or swath, swath the peas, rather. So the combine was right in here, and I took it out that door. So I've got to get the swather out and make sure that's working. You know, we try to keep the mice out and the squirrels out with these bait boxes, but they chew up these belts. They get in the belts and they, they chew them up. So I replace those. I try to keep this all open to keep the keep the from making nests in there. So I can move this out of the way. Then the pickup head, I'll come in with the combine and lift that up and take it out. <clears throat> so tomorrow I've got to go drill the cover crop on that prevent plant on that failed corn, which is um, there's six or seven hours there. Then I'll come back and then we'll get the swather out, the pickup head out, and then Friday morning, tomorrow's Thursday, <clears throat> I'll swath it, with, there's still some dew on it, and then I, I will probably use a pickup head later in the day, maybe the following afternoon, Saturday afternoon, because there's a fair amount of weeds out there in those peas, and I don't want to plug up the combine. Problem we ran into, and this has happened twice now on this, um, I don't know if you see that. The end of that hose was crimped on the end there and it just burst. And that's the return line. So when I park this, and it, it's happened before on this return line and I repaired it, I thought it was just a bad hose. Well, it's happened twice now. So we, I'm pretty sure this is the story. So when I park it, I leave it in the raised position. I close this shutoff valve to restrict the cylinder so that that the field cultivators up in the air it's not resting on the sweeps you know on the springs the sea shanks and <clears throat> what was happening is there's somehow an internal leak in either the valve or that cylinder there's something in the plumbing that <clears throat> it's building up pressure in the return line and the pressure is the force of this machine sinking down is putting pressure on the return line and it's blowing that hose out. So we're gonna get a new hose made tomorrow and just to haul this thing out of here and park it over to the side and set it on the ground, that way we can pick up the pickup head back there with the combine. And I've gotta get these things, I've gotta go over the combine, make sure it's you know all greased, all lubed, the basics are covered the oil, the hydraulic, everything, but you know, it's sat all winter. So it's, I'm glad it started up, I, um, started up no problem. But I just wanna make sure everything's running fine. And then to get the swather out, make sure that's running fine. Then we will, uh, uh, Friday or Saturday, do the, the peas. Oh, this is, uh, that fell off. This is one of the, uh, crop divider, row crop dividers on the bean head. That came loose and basically was dragging in the ground last fall when I was combining beans. And I just took it off and set it at the edge of the field. So it ended up, it's on the bean head. It goes on the bean head out there. But um, I need to, part of it got bent on the, on the frame on that bean head. And so I have to heat that up and bend that back. Then I can bolt that thing on. <clears throat> Wow. Well, so that's <clears throat> the excitement. Got the 4020 back. I don't know, the last time I sewed this thing, it had the, uh, I've got that steer, uh, steer uh, steering gear arm back in place, bolted up, 
I know you can kind of see two of the bolts up in there. That was a little fun I had with Ronnie, the deer mechanic. Fantastic mechanic, by the way. Uh, just watch, you know, I pick up so many little tricks. So worth every penny you pay, I pay for them. They might be expensive, but they really know their stuff. Um, so, yeah, the beans look pretty good. I mean, they look really good, my beans. The corn looks pretty good. The oats is probably still a week away to combine. So I've got round bar corn caves in, in uh, combine right now. After the peas are done, I'll swap out the round bar concaves and put the small wire concaves in. So a couple of you asked what, what's been new lately and or what's, what's going on. And, well, there it is. Beautiful night out. Oh, there's a swallow up there. I don't know if it's going to show up. Sun's just going down. It's about 8.30, I think. Yeah. And there really aren't any mosquitoes out here. 